Trump has until Monday to post a $464 million bond in his New York civil fraud case. In a Truth Social post, Trump says he has almost $500 million in cash. While his legal team said this week he couldn't secure loans for funds to cover the near half billion dollars after trying dozens of companies, the post suggests Trump may already have the money he needs. The post read in part, through hard work, talent and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash, a substantial amount of which I intended to use in my campaign for president. The often overturned political hack judge on the rigged and corrupt case where I have done nothing wrong knew this and wanted to take it away from me. While Trump apparently has the money, the Post didn't mention whether he would use it to cover the bond. Currently, Trump's team is appealing the judge's ruling. And while there's the possibility the court dismisses the case, New York law requires a defendant to still put up the judgment amount while the appeal plays out. If he doesn't, his properties are at stake. New York Attorney General Letitia James filed paperwork to seize assets in Westchester County just one week after the judge's ruling, fully preparing for the possibility Trump doesn't pay the bond. While the filing doesn't name any specific Trump assets, it's in Westchester County that Trump has a prestigious golf course and his 200-acre Seven Springs estate. These properties could be some James looks at seizing and selling. But other properties in New York City are also on the table. No additional filings had to be made since it's where the trial took place. Frank Luntz, a GOP pollster and Stray Arrow News commentary contributor, was on CNN with a political warning if Trump's properties are seized by the attorney general. Lund says while it would hurt Trump financially, it could bolster him politically and hand him the presidency. Trump went up in the polls every time there was an indictment against him. I want you to remember this moment and don't forget it. If the New York Attorney General starts to take his homes away, starts to seize his assets, it's all gonna be on camera. Pundits are gonna sit there and scream about this. This man cannot be elected. You're going to create the greatest victimhood of 2024, and you're going to elect Donald Trump. The Biden campaign has recently dubbed Trump as Broke Don. Not only is the former president doling out hundreds of millions in multiple cases against him, but Trump's campaign is also well behind Biden's fundraising numbers. According to new campaign finance reports, Biden has twice as much cash on hand than the former president.